On the 1st of March 1951, after three years of brutal interrogations and a show trial, a man was led into the basement of a communist prison in Warsaw, Poland and shot in the back of the head, Katzen style. His body was discarded in an unmarked grave, meant to be forever forgotten, just like his story and those of so many others like him. But Łukasz Czeplinski, codenamed Plow, and his story are just too great to be forgotten. He was born to a patriotic and deeply religious family in 1913, just before Poland regained its independence. After school, he joined the army and became an officer. When Germany invaded Poland in 1939, Czeplinski served with distinction. During one battle, he personally destroyed six German tanks and then headed to Warsaw to defend the capital. After Poland fell, Czeplinski kept fighting. Arrested in 1940, he escaped from prison and went on to become a senior officer in the Polish resistance. In 1944, the tide of war was turning and the Red Army pushed west, replacing German Nazism with Moscow-imposed Soviet communism. The Poles sought to liberate the country before the Russians, but once the Germans were defeated, Soviet command ordered the Poles to disarm. Czeplinski refused and went back underground. The Soviets initiated a terror campaign to liquidate all formations of the Polish underground state, still loyal to the Polish government in exile in London. And yet, the Poles fought on. At least 20,000 continued the armed struggle, with many taking shelter deep in the forests. Czeplinski also continued the struggle against the Reds. He joined the largest anti-communist military underground organization, the Freedom and Independence Association. He became its leader in January 1947, but was arrested by the communist security services by the end of the year. He was interrogated and brutally tortured for three years before being sentenced to death. Before his execution, he told one of his co-prisoners that he would keep his medallion under his tongue in case anyone ever looked for his body. To this day, despite years of searching, his body has yet to be found. The forensics team looking for Czeplinski is certain they'll find him. Soon. Very soon. And that story is one of an indomitable but doomed struggle against Nazi and communist totalitarianism. It is the tale of boys, girls, men and women who yearn for nothing more than for their country and their people to be free. It is the story of the indomitable soldiers. Thank you.